So, hi everyone, I'm Mahindra, founder of GoFind. Uh, we also have Anuja and Ishida from the team. So, GoFind is building the next phase of retail, of shopping. Uh, we are using artificial intelligence for that and we'll shortly demo you how. Uh, the problem that we're solving is that uh, e-commerce or shopping has completely changed. You know, it used to be the malls before, then it moved to the, to the shopping sites, and now it has actually moved to social media. People like, so people like to buy things that they see on, let's say, Facebook, Instagram, or other social media sites. Or people like to buy the things that they see on when they're walking around the street. But how do you actually go from the point when you see something to find out where you can buy that? One common way is to do board search, and you try to, uh, try to explain what the uh, board means, and you try to Google it out, but that's not a very efficient way. It doesn't always lead you to the, uh, to the product. So that's where we come in. We are building an image search engine for shopping using artificial intelligence. So next time when you see something in Facebook, Instagram, or you see your friend wearing a product, or uh, something, or piece of furniture you like, all you have to do is take a picture or upload that picture and we'll show you all the options to buy that or similar products across the US, across thousands of sites. Let me show you a demo. So, so this is the app. Uh, it's live now in iOS and Android Play Store, so you can download the beta version. So it has two modes. One is uh, if people do not already have products that they want to, they are ready to uh, buy, then we give them a fee, which we basically bring in products from all over the internet, so that people can easily scroll through and see if there's something they like. And if they want to buy something, they click on the button, and it will. The AI engine will try to detect what are the products in there and show you similar products to buy. And you can, if you like something you, uh, you see there, you can basically buy it right from the, right from the app. Uh, so it, it goes on and on. Uh, so there are celebrity, there are different things you can buy from the influencers. So the, uh, the one part of the equation is the consumers. The other part of the equation, as I said, the commerce has moved to social media. So, but the post in social media is made by a person. He or she is not getting paid. We are bridging that gap as well. Because when somebody likes a product in social media and tries to buy a similar product, if we have a, a tie up with them, we are able to pay a share of the revenue back to those products, back to those person who originally posted. So this is how you can now buy products that you see on social media. Uh, you can also use your camera. Or I, yeah, I can, or I can have any volunteer here. So we we'll try to take a picture live. If you shoot, okay. Uh, well, I can try. To, okay, let me try a jacket and then I'll try to shoot. It means, so the lighting and everything is also comes into effect. If you use computer vision, you're gonna come to And this is live, right? No, it's, uh, okay. so it's, it's still trying to find those similar products. So we have a database of around, uh, I think, 1,000 plus uh, retailers. That's 80% of US. It looks at the, so it, it looks at the, the color, the style, and everything else brought together. It finds from our database where it can find without any tagging, without any uh, pre-program. It's able to find those products. And uh, so that's, that's our first item, it's Go Find Fashion, you can download it. Uh, where we are going next is uh, we are also going to incorporate uh, furniture and, every, and all other products. So basically the world around you, the social media or everything else, is now shoppable, right? So just take a, 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 take, collect the pictures that you like and you should be able to buy those products. And obviously this is a very good use case for an augmented reality device in the future. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, I'm around here. Any questions you have, feel free to ask me now or later. Uh, and please download GoFind Fashion. Thank you. If you have a question.
if you integrate into the uh, into the handset, a smart device, a social media apps like the Facebook app, yep, you can hook in with APIs, or how do you do that? Well, we, right now we do not hook in with APIs. Uh, well, we. We use the APIs to bring those uh, feeds onto our uh, our uh, system, and that's about it. We just bring the pictures. But if, I'm, if, I, if I have Facebook on my smartphone and I find something I like, I have okay. a lot of Facebook and Instagram. Okay, okay, good question. Okay, good question. So there are, there are two ways. One is that if on your phone, if you know how to take the screenshot, so you can take a screenshot and you can upload a picture as well. I didn't. I only showed the camera, but you could have uploaded the, the picture from your Facebook or Instagram. Uh, later on, uh, as a next version, we are bringing in the login function with Facebook and Pinterest uh, and Instagram. So you can, your feeds are with us. So if you like something on Instagram, and if you hashtag, we have a hashtag go find, then it, it brings to your app. But the, no, but the most crude way is just a, a screenshot and upload it. Who's your competitor? God, well, the competitor, I mean, what is the, who is the competitor in the, um, the specific AI, AI market, so I can name you a few companies that have been working on the area. But more importantly, the competitor right now is where people are going for shopping, right? The competitors are really the uh, the polyvores of the world, the search engines for shopping, polyvore, Amazon, and all these companies are the right, Pinterest. It's a big one because that's where you go for inspiration. Direct contact is at 54 graves com. So with all the vendors that uh, have inventory in your system, do you have a financial relationship with them? So yeah, we do have uh, affiliate commissions with the vendors, but the search results are not biased. We scrape the internet without uh, thinking if we, and we show the results without any bias of if we have a contract or not. But we have contract with literally every retailer, and it's very easy nowadays because everybody's up for it. So we have signed up with every retailer. Can you share like how much transaction volume is going through the system right now, approximately? Well, we, we launched uh, last week, so <laughs> it's uh, a couple of thousands uh, per day. Uh, uh, we have a couple of thousand users. Uh, so, and w one of the technology piece here, if I can say, is okay, so we, this usage uh, GPUs, right? And GPUs are actually very expensive on the servers to actually put up an app like this. So, one of our uh, for those who can appreciate, one of our technological advancement is how we can incorporate a part of the deep learning process right into the phone. So we don't need to need all those GPUs on the server, otherwise you need literally a big farm of hundreds of GPUs to do this. Yes? Uh, so with, with, to kind of go into it a little bit more, the financial relationship, is that only affiliates and how do you do that in an on-demand scenario? So the financial relationship is now affiliated with one trade and move on to advertising as well. So we can get it on the clicks. And what was the second question? How, how do you handle that in an on-demand scenario where, let's say, you, you don't have a relationship with a brand okay. and someone snaps a picture and yeah. you only get those weird looking we don't, we don't care at that time. When we should, we're putting the consumer experience first. So we'll show the results anyway as long as we have data. It's on database and we have access to it. And if we have the financial transactions, great. 90%, 95% of the time, we're going to have uh, financial benefit out of that. It's also an aspect of shopping, right? Instead of showing into uh, ads, which are intrusive, we're showing an ad right on that same spot uh, when people are looking for that. <coughs> Any more questions? <coughs> 